Hello everybody and welcome. Uh, this is going to be kind of a short video and a little bit different. I'm sitting in my car in the parking lot of my hotel and just got my camera sitting on the dash with my microphone hooked up to it. I'm just shooting uh, right here just off the top of my head here. So you're going to have to bear with me but I figured I need to get something out in regards to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Obviously as you all know it, the release date was released. August 18th of this year, 2020, will be the release, the full release of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, something we've been looking forward to for quite some time. Now, there's a lot of debate and contention around this release date and Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in general. They released the three different packages you can purchase. Um, I guess it's the basic, deluxe, and then the premium deluxe. And there's debate on which ones are the best buy, which ones, you know, are better to get right off the bat. And I'm not going to say don't buy a certain one. I'm not going to say do buy a certain one. Uh, I, I will say that I pre-ordered the Premium Deluxe version. And the reason why I pre-ordered the Premium Deluxe version is simply that I'm a YouTuber. And I know y'all are going to want to see all the aircraft, all the airports, and all that thing you know, right off the bat, and we're gonna see all of that. So knowing that, I went ahead and dropped the extra cash for the premium deluxe version so I can showcase those uh, to you. Uh, I do know that there's, again, debate on what is the best to get, and um, with all of that, I will say that, you know, there's also been some false information put out there in regards to when you purchase these um, you're not getting the full, full world. All you're getting is a certain number of airports, right? Like 20 or 40 or 80, something like that. That's not true. You are getting all airports. You can land, take off from all airports. Um, those are all modeled airports, 3D. But note that you know they, they go into great detail on those particular uh, airports that they mentioned. So uh, I think the, I know the, I'm pretty sure the premium deluxe is like 60 airports or 80 airports, something like that. All of those airports are fully 3D modeled and detailed to match as realistic as possible those airports in the real world. Uh, kind of like your add-on aircraft, add-on airports you have nowadays in x 11, that's what those airports are. You are still gonna be able to land at other airports. Uh, there's some questions about whether or not Microsoft Flight Summer 2020 is really ready for release. And I'm not going to get into that debate because honestly, it could not be ready for release right now. Uh, it may be a couple more weeks before it's ready for release. It may, you know, the alpha builds that people are on right now may not be what they're looking at as a finished product for release. They may already be looking at the beta product and going, okay, this is, this is pretty close. This is like really close to where we need to be. And they're taking that and going, okay, projecting, right? They're going, well, if we're going to be releasing the beta, I can't remember, they pushed it back a week or something like that. If we're going to be releasing the beta this time, that's when they expect to have pretty much everything working as it should uh, to their standards, and then they're going to want feedback from the community. And I wouldn't be surprised if the final date got pushed back. Um, I don't know that for certain, of course, but I wouldn't be surprised. And that's unfortunately a common occurrence with modern video games and simulators in particular. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but simulators in particular often miss their due dates, uh, their deadlines. And I, it, I would rather them take more time and make sure it's a fully finished product, of course, before they release it. Uh, but I'm confident it'll be at least close to finished or really close to being completely finished. Uh, right off the bat, but we'll see. We'll see what it leads. Uh, I did pre-order it, so I will be doing videos on that, of course. Um, I'm not abandoning X-Plane. Don't don't be afraid. Don't think, oh, he's just going to transition over and leave all you X-Plane uh, players out there to your own devices. That's not the case. I still own X-Plane 11. Still own a lot of aircraft in X-Plane 11. Uh, I won't be purchasing any new aircraft or sceneries in X-Plane 11 uh, for now. That could change uh, depending on how Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 rolls out. But we're going to have a shot. We're going to give it a shot and see what happens. And, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to do that quick little update, kind of 
hit a couple points on there and uh, be sure to ask any questions you want in the comments down below. You can, of course, go to my Discord as well and ask them there. I've been kind of active in my Discord recently because I know I haven't been putting out as many videos, live streaming and such. So I've been trying to be a little more active on the Discord side. Uh, I'll be back doing a live stream probably the 20th, Monday. No guarantees on that, but probably that's what I'll be shooting for. And then hopefully getting kind of somewhat back to some type of schedule. Uh, but we'll see. It's an ever-changing world, as you all know. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. And be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Guys, you got it. if you're subscribed, you have to hit the bell notification to be notified when I upload a video. Otherwise, you just won't know. YouTube will not let you know. It just, it's just the way it works now. So hit the bell notification icon, select all notifications, and you'll get updated when I release. And you all know that I don't, I'm not pushing out 500 different posts a day, right? So you don't have to worry about getting overwhelmed. Um, and don't forget Patreon, patreon.com slash mmflightclub. The last two videos I released on this channel, uh, which was the vlog about my unboxing my gear, as well as the VOR tutorial, both of those released to my flight club early. So there is early access for you all who want that. That is available. And those generally it's 24 hours. Sometimes it's longer. Uh, so you definitely get early access as a member of the flight club. And that's three bucks, guys. Three dollars. That's it. Just three bucks a month. That's really, that's really nothing. But I understand that not everyone can do that, especially in these times. Anyway, so thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys next time up in the sky. freaking ant on my camera. Why is there... Okay, I'm gonna kill it. Die! Shoot! <laughs> Die. <laughs> I got it!